I nothing over here. All right, but we got a template. We got a template. All right. Let's go back to store and let's now go into settings first. Or rather, I would try to. Uh, I try to change my uh, URL. So let's say over here. What is your store URL? If you cancel this, the store URL for you would be like whatever name you have given to your store dot myshopify.com. Now you don't want this as a store name. You want something like an domain like officialdogslover.com, uh, which you can purchase uh, from GoDaddy or Namechip. Like if you don't know how to book a domain, which I'm sure you would be able to, you can visit uh, this particular video for which I'll give a link. So it's like how to book or you can visit this particular thing. I'll, I'll give you a link which will give you a step by step formula of buying and booking a domain. Where is it? Yeah, complete step by step guide for buying a domain. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. Yeah, there you go. Buy a domain for your blog, complete step by step process. All right, it's a step by step process where I show you everything like keywords and screenshots, everything. So, book your domain. Now, once you have booked your domain, depending on where you have got it from, if you have got it from GoDaddy as your domain registrar, it will show you something like this when you click on online store and you click on domains. And you will have various options like connect an existing domain. So for me, I have already booked a domain. So for me, this option would go valid connect existing domain. If you want to buy a domain, you can click on buy new domain and similarly this option. All right. So it's one and the same. These two options and these two options. So I'm going to click on connect existing domain. I'm going to type my domain name official dogslover.com. I'm going to click on next. And now depending on your domain provider or domain service uh, registrar, it will tell you where you have to connect. So for me, it's saying how to connect your Namechip domain. So I have booked my domain from Namechip and not GoDaddy. So that's the reason why it's showing me Namechip. If you book a domain from GoDaddy, it will show you GoDaddy domain and you will see blah, 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 blah. All right. So not your provider. Click on this or you click on view instructions. So click on view instructions and it will show you all the step by step procedure of uh, how you can connect your existing domain and change this URL. So I'm going to do that right now. Now I already know this process. So if you have a name chip account, uh, do that as for my instructions over here. All oops. So name chip. I'm not a robot. Sometimes this keeps on saying it's annoying at times so I'm gonna click on this I'm gonna log in so this is my name chip account so you go into domain list if you have more than one domains booked with one account and then I go to manage I go to advanced DNS over here And then in your store itself, you get all these options. So step one is clicking on manage. Step two is clicking on advanced DNS. Step three is you need to add a new record, which is this one, this tab. So you're going to click on that. Now I've already done that. So I'm not going to do that. Next, you have to select a record. Now, what is a record? When you click on this, you get a couple of options. So you select a record and then whatever they are saying, just do it. All right, so I'm going to cancel that, but you have to enter all these things. You have to copy this and just simply go step by step, whatever they are saying, all right, step by step, whatever they are saying, you simply have to do that. Now I have already done that. And while I'm logged in into my name chip, I come back to my Shopify store where it says verify connection. I'm going to click on that. It will start trying to verify my domain with Shopify. And once it is done, if I have done everything correct, it will say domain successfully connected. All right. And it says your domain is now pointing to your online store. It can take up to 24 hours for changes to propagate. So let's try if it is working for me. So if I now go to officialdogslover.com, 
it will open up my Shopify store. It should open up. Now it's asking me for password, but it's working right now, right? Why it's asking me for password, I'll come on that in a while. You have to remove this password by selecting a plan, but it is now working. Why? Because that earlier URL, which was official hyphen dogs hyphen lovers dot my Shopify dot com. It's not visible anymore. All right. So this is completely working. Don't worry about the password. I'll come on that in a while. So let's close this name chip account and come back to this. Now, uh, regarding that particular or let me just remove the password. So I click on your trial just started. Select a plan. I'll select a plan. And before that, before that, while you were on domains, so let's click on online store and domains. Once you verify your domain, make sure you have this primary domain over here, whatever you wish. So I want with www. So I'll click on save. So whosoever is coming, writing simply official dogs lover, they'll also redirect to www.officialdogslover.com. All right. And blah, blah, blah. Everything good. So now I'm going to click on this remove password all right let's go to settings all right settings at the bottom and uh, you should be able to see somewhere password i guess you can update your store i guess in the account a lot of things have changed they have changed the interface i want to change my password right so where is it preferences I'll come back to this and general 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 it's not over here as well All right so what I'll, I can do is <laughs> I'll go over here and it's like remove a password there is some option I'm not sure where it is right now or what I can do is I can simply select a plan. It's somewhere over here. I don't remember, but or it is hidden. Remove your online store. Nope. So I'll select the plan, seventy nine a month, and I'm gonna enter my card details over here. So in a while I'll enter my card details, and then I'll come back over here. So I've just entered the card details, and I've scrolled down, and it says bill me once a month, bill me once a year, whatever you select now don't worry guys if you have selected for the 14 days trial you will definitely get 14 days trial you won't be charged anything right now because as you have entered the card details on the first day second day 13th day whatever day before 14 days it will always show you that you'll be charged for the monthly shopify plan of 79 usd on blah 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 date so whenever you have created after that 14 days right so i'll be charged on 23rd of september today as of now i'm recording it's 9th of september plus 14 it's 23rd september so this is what i am done so i'll click on confirm changes now and there you go it says you have successfully subscribed to a shopify plan so once you do that everything changes over here so you get a different home page good evening protection here's what happening for your store blah 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 and now if you refresh the page right so now Let's suppose I close this and if I try to visit my store, so oops, uh, view your store, it will now simply give me official dogslover.com and there is no any uh, particular kind of uh, password or anything. Let's type it again and let's hit enter. It's with the HTTPS, all right, by the way, it's with the HTTPS www.officialdogslover.com so you get a free SSL certificate as well if you create a store online uh, on Shopify right so this is all done uh, you got to know how to remove the password by selecting a plan so I've just did that with 79 a month now we'll go to settings we'll tap into each one of them step by step whenever required so I'll go first into general let's see what they what's there in uh, general so as I mentioned earlier, while creating an account on Shopify, I told you, you can change your store's name. So you can change it over here. You can do whatever you wish to have. So I'll say official dogs lover or uh, marketplace.
I'll keep the emails right now as it is. I'll change it later on. Legal name of business, I'll say official dogs lover. You can change address over here as I mentioned earlier. Now I want to have my currency for the entire website as USD dollars or you can change the default settings over here this is like plain and simple it's layman terms all right change it over here whatever you wish to have uh, play around and click on save 